skinny Mr. Yo Boy D Neo back with another reaction video. We are back with the man that we have a legend, Mr. Gabriel Iglesias, aka Fluffy. Oh my god, so y'all we, we did the reaction to, to the racist gift basket. Y'all said there's another one? I said there's another one, y'all said there's another one. He is doing a reaction. Now it's a Mexican racist gift basket. I guess he had to get paid back for what he did. So I'm ready to jump in before we jump in. What I need y'all to do is hit subscribe, ring the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. I got social media and Patreon in the corner. I will put all the links in the description. So all you gotta do is hit the link, follow me, talk to me, human. I talk back. What we got, Fluffy? Before you know it, people started bringing me. Mexican racist gift baskets. <laughs> I'll hide for this. Now, when it first started happening, listen, guys, I'm not gonna lie, it was actually kind of cute because it was only other Mexicans bringing me these quote unquote Mexican racist gift baskets. It started in LA after a show. <laughs> this one guy walks up to me with a basket and he's like, hey, what's up, homie? Got your racist gift basket. I said, we're the same race. Yeah, hey, whatever. All right, whatever. I take it backstage and all the items in the basket made it to my house. There was a Mexican blanket with a tiger on it, a bunch of bottles of Fanta, bottles of sangria, Vicente Fernandez CDs, Mexican candy, pan dulce, sweet bread, mazapanes, everything made it to my house. Oh my now, the more east coast we started traveling and the more down south we started performing, the more Creative. <laughs> the gift basket started getting. Fast forward to Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> All right. No disrespect, Alabama. All right, no. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm already, I'm ready for him to say this. But I'm dead. Hey, can you imagine? Said everything made it to the crib. I ain't gonna act like I know what everything was. I heard sangria. The bottles of Fanta, definitely know. Know what I'm saying? <coughs> it's all of that good stuff. Mexican candy, all of that good stuff. I'm not gonna act like I know what everything is. Fast forward to Hello. Mobile, Alabama. Oh, it gets good. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier tonight, before we kicked off this special, my friend Martin was out here making a couple of announcements. One of the announcements that he made was, if you brought a gift, Please hold on to it until after the show. Don't bring it to the stage. It could interrupt the flow of the performance. The only reason why he makes this announcement every single night is because of one show in Mobile. So here's what happens. I tell the entire racist gift basket story, the full 16 minutes, right? As soon as I finish, a guy from the back of the theater rushes the front of the stage. Now keep in mind, this area is full and mobile the aisle was right up the middle so the guy had a clean shot to me he hauled ass like it was the price is right all the way down <laughs> much like tonight there was security there that night security sees the guy with the basket but no one thought to stop him all they did was that's pretty oh that's nice that's pretty yeah so the guy makes it all the way to the front he takes the gift basket and he puts it on the stage. Now he's heckling me from where you're sitting. I'm standing here and he's like, Fluffy! What's up, dude? I got this for you. Thank you. Open it. I go, so we're kind of in the middle of a show right now. I says, I appreciate the gift. That's very nice of you. I says, but uh, how about this? I'll, I'll open it after the show. Oh, come on, Fluffy. I want to see your face. Um, sir, how about this? How about you take the gift basket and you bring it over here to the side of the stage where security's at and I'll have security escort you behind the curtain and then I'll open it up backstage with you in front of me. How's that? And he's not taking no for an answer. Now the problem is, the crowd just saw me tell the racist gift basket story and all of a sudden there's a guy with a gift basket. They have no idea I'm not affiliated with freaking Duck Dynasty in the front row. So now I'm trying to defuse the situation before it gets crazy, but he's not taking no for an answer. Next thing you know, he does something no other audience member has ever done in my 19 plus years as a comedian. He takes the whole crowd away from me, flips them, and then uses them on me in five seconds. It was the most amazing, horrific thing I have ever witnessed. 
<laughs> this is all he did. Come on, Fluffy! We want to see your face! We want to see your face! We want to see your... He gets 2,000 people behind him to start chanting, We want to see your face! We want to see your face! <laughs> it was very evident this was not the first rally he's ever led. Oh, you can't say that. You can't. <laughs> Alright. I, 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 if I was in the audience, I'd be like, bro, you got over here. I want to see you too, but. <laughs> That's the first rally. Okay. It was very evident this was not the first rally he's ever led. <laughs> the crowd is so loud, I can no longer hear myself over the monitor. So I'm like, I lost. So I get on my hands and knees, I put the microphone down, I grab the gift basket, and I start tearing it open. I reach in, forget about pulling out Mexican soda, Mexican candy, or a Mexican blanket. This dude was a pro. I started pulling out gardening tools. I'm pulling out a rake, a toy shovel, a toy leaf blower. Dig deeper, Flappin', dig deeper! I pull out a soccer ball. I go, dude, it says Puerto Rico. They ran out of Mexico. <laughs> I pull out a brick. I go, what's the brick for? The wall. What's the brick for? The ball! I pull out an actual application for U.S. citizenship. Oh my god. I said there's no way this can get any worse. Dig deeper! I was wrong. I pull out an old school box of Crayola cramps. You know the 64 pack that has a sharpener in the back? Okay. There's a window on the front of the crayon so you can see all of the colors that are in the box. All of the crayons in the box are brown except for one white crayon right in the middle. And I said, what the hell is that supposed to mean? And he looks at me and he says, welcome to my world. Oh! <laughs> bro, bro, this man's right here. I but he, okay, it could have only been done in Alabama. It could have only been done there. This man is wild. And he says, welcome to my world. <laughs> oh my God. The crowd is laughing so hard. I know for a fact I don't have a joke that's going to follow that. So I made it seem like that was the end of my performance. I picked up the gift basket. I said, thank you, Mobile. And I gave the guy a dirty look. Motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. I, this man right here was different. That had to be open on stage. I see why he made him open it on stage. That had to be open on stage in front of everybody. Or it just, that next story needed to be told. Because that's hilarious. <laughs> <gasps> That's it for this. If you guys got a favorite song or artist or video you want to hear me react to, please don't hesitate to drop in the comment section. Ask why the section is there. Make sure that you hit subscribe. You ring the notification bell. You get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Social media, Patreon, are in the corners. I'll put all the links in the description. So all you have to do is hit the link. Follow me. Talk to me. Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible. See you on YouTube. Boy, you need help.